Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome to tutorial number four in my JavaScript series. It's Quinton here. And in this video, I just want to talk to you guys about one of the most important topics in programming. And that is variables. Okay, so first of all, what is a variable? Well, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you are either in high school or you've finished high school and you've at least been to uh, or you've at least had a few maths classes where they've already taught you what variables are so you know that whenever you saw something like x is equal to 3 that x is holding the value 3 so later on whenever someone said something like I have x apples what this meant was I have three apples and if we change the value of X to five then this would change as well to say I have five apples so that's basically just what a variable is it's just a placeholder for a value so X is holding the value five right now but what we use program or what we use variables for in programming is we store these values in the computer's memory and then we'll use them again later on for example a user might come to our website and they might fill in their name okay and then we might store their name in a variable called name and because it's me over here we'll just say name is equal to Quinton okay and then we might print out on the page later on um, so you guys know how to print stuff out on the page document dot write and then we might print name onto the page and that would print my name okay so that's just how we would use um, or what we would use variables for in programming and what I want to talk to you guys about now is just how to name your variable because there you can name your variable almost anything you want in JavaScript but there are a few rules okay and the first rule is that your variable is allowed to consist of letters numbers and underscores but your variable has to begin with either a lowercase letter or an uppercase letter or an underscore so it can't start with a number okay so just to show you guys an example you could name your variable my variable uh, and that has uppercase letters it starts with an uppercase letter that's fine you could name your variable my variable okay variable if I can spell that right not really and uh, this starts with a lowercase letter and that's fine that's okay and you could also name your variable underscore my variable and that's fine too so you can name your variable anything that looks uh, vaguely similar to that but you are not allowed to use a number as the first character so you can't name your variable one my variable one my variable okay you are allowed to use numbers though just not as the first character so you can name it my variable one you can name it my one variable but you can't name your variable one my variable or something that starts with a number so yeah that's basically uh, the first two rules done so just make sure that you only use letters and numbers and you always start with a letter or an underscore okay and then the next thing is you're not allowed to use spaces okay so you can't name your variable my space variable one okay you're not allowed to do that if you want to use a space what you can do is you can put in an underscore and name it my underscore variable but you're not allowed to leave a blank space like that that is will give you an error okay and the last rule is pretty much you're not allowed to use any JavaScript keywords now JavaScript has a few different keywords like uh, var and function and things like that so as you can see they turn this funny dark blue color when I type them those are keywords you're not allowed to name your variable any of those keywords 
and there's actually quite a few of them so I'll leave a link in the description below where you can see what keywords you're not allowed to use and then the last thing I actually want to let you guys know or second last thing I actually want to let you guys know is that a variable name is case sensitive so if you name your variable my capital V variable like this okay that is not the same as naming your variable my variable with a lowercase v so variables are case sensitive these are not the same thing okay even though they both turn green when I highlighted them they're not the same thing uh, you have to if you're gonna use a capital here you have to use a capital later on again okay so they're just case sensitive I'm pretty sure you guys understand that it's pretty basic then uh, the next thing is or well, the last this is the last thing now a variable name is called an identifier so if you're writing a JavaScript exam and one of the questions is uh, what is the variable name or like what is the technical term for a variable name it's called an identifier so just go ahead and remember that if you want to if you're going to be writing any exam soon and the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is declaring a variable so before you can actually use a variable anywhere in your code you actually have to declare your variable you have to say to JavaScript hey yo JavaScript this is a variable so I'm gonna use it later on just make sure that uh, you know that this is gonna be a variable so to do that you use the keyword var and then you put in your variable name so we were just using a variable called my variable okay and then you just put a semicolon there so that is a JavaScript statement that just declares a variable it just says okay computer I'm going to be using a variable later on this is the variable name and now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and just use this variable and this is the next thing I want to talk to you guys about which is called assigning a value to a variable okay so we can give a variable a value and to do that what we do is we type the name of the variable so my variable okay and then we just put in an equal sign and then we put in the value that we want our variable to be so I'm just gonna give my variable a value of 20 okay so what this means is my variable is now holding a value of 20 and this little equal sign here if you're writing a JavaScript test don't call it an equal sign it's called an assignment operator so assignment operator okay and the reason why it's called that is because it assigns the value of 20 to the variable my variable so pretty simple and uh, we can probably just neaten this up and then the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is just printing out a variable on the screen so if you want to print out a variable on the screen you can use the documents uh, dot write feature that we already spoke about document dot write and inside the brackets we put our variable name so we don't put any of the uh, double quotation marks don't put those in there just put in the variable name so that's how to print out a variable uh, with document.write okay so we go ahead and save this and then we can run this in Firefox and we should get the value 20 printed out on the screen so there it is over there and if we wanted to change that value we could just go ahead and change it here when we assign the variable uh, we can change that to 40 save it come back here refresh and our value now changes to 40 so now this is the last thing I want to talk to you guys about and this is just called initializing a variable okay so you see how we declare our variable over here and then we give it a value down here well what if two lines of code is just too much for you like you wanted to just be really lazy and take a shortcut uh, in programming well you can go ahead and do this and we can declare our variable and assign a value to it in the same line and to do that we just say var my variable 
equals and then we'll put the value 20 okay and now what we've done is we've declared our variable and we've given our variable the value or we've assigned a value to our variable and this is called initializing your variable so we can go ahead and save this and when we run this in Firefox it's still going to be the same uh, output pretty much so we print out the value that our variable has been given or has been assigned to our variable so that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial um, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment don't forget to like my video and especially don't forget to sign up on my forum I really need you guys to sign up there if you need some help so thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time